Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. And if you're new, I'm so happy you're here today. Today, I've got a few of these silver metal paper towel holders. These are the ones that stand upright, which is great because it takes very little counter space. However, we're going to get real creative with these by transforming them into gorgeous, one-of-a-kind chandelier lamps. Yes, you heard that right. We're going to take these dollar store paper towel holders and make beautiful lamps out of them. For our first lamp, we'll need two of these chrome paper towel holders. And the first thing we're going to do is place one upside down against the other one standing upright. Then we'll secure the two together using some nylon cables. I have seen these nylon cables come in black, red, and white, so I have chosen the white ones because the white ones will be less visible. Once you have tightened them and you think they're secure enough, you can go ahead and clip off the excess ends. The end with the nylon cables will become the top of our lamp. With the top secured with the nylon cable ties, you'll notice that towards the bottom, the paper towel holders are actually loose, moving around and separating. But don't worry, we're going to fix that up easily with a little bit of hot glue applied right between the two paper towel holders where they meet. When using hot glue on metal, the hot glue will dry almost immediately and will do a fairly good job to join the two chrome paper towel holders together. And we will only need a little bit. But if you prefer a longer lasting hold and something that is a little more secure, I would recommend adding some E6000 or Fix All. And with that done, we can set these paper towel holders aside for the time being while we work on making a base for our lamp to sit on. Here I have a round black frame mirror from the Dollar Tree and I'm embellishing it with some silver bead stickers also from the Dollar Tree. The silver bead stickers have a self-adhesive backing and they're very flexible so you can mimic the round shape of the mirror when you adhere them onto the frame. And while we work on that, I would like to take a moment to thank you for tuning in to today's craft project. If you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, it would help me greatly if you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my glam home decor DIYs. And if you like what you see today, please give me a thumbs up as well. Your support will really help me continue providing you with more amazing and creative craft tutorials. And the best part is subscribing and giving me a thumbs up is absolutely free, but will make a world of difference to me and my channel. And here I'm further embellishing the side of the frame mirror with four rows of mini mirror tiles. The mini mirror tiles also have a self-adhesive backing and they can be cut to size easily. And by the way, in case you want to know where to find the materials I'm using, I'll have links down in the description box including budget-friendly alternative options in case you can't find what you're looking for at the dollar store. When you're done with embellishing the base, put that aside as well as we're going to work on our source of lighting next. To power the chandelier lamp, I have chosen to go somewhat green, meaning the lamp will be solar powered and therefore it will not require any electricity or wiring. I have removed the stick from a second solar garden light and we're going to attach it to the first one to make the stick long enough for our lamp. And although these sticks are metallic silver, mine are not in the greatest condition so we're going to cover up the markings with some embellishments. You can choose to embellish the sticks with some diamond wrap or your favorite trim. I saw these rolls of metallic silver beaded ribbon at the Dollar Tree that would look nice too. But for mine, I'm going to go to my new favorite, which is the self-adhesive rhinestone ribbon I found on Amazon. The rhinestones really shimmer under the light and this ribbon is so easy to work with because it can be cut to size, it's flexible, and it's a self-adhesive backing so no extra glue is required. I'll leave a link down below in the description box in case you want to stock up on some for your own craft projects. And just to let you know, these rhinestone self-adhesive ribbons do come in different lengths and widths. And although I am using the ones that come in rolls, I have also seen the same self-adhesive rhinestone ribbon in sheets, so you can choose whatever you prefer for your project.
So here's what the embellished solar garden stick looks like now. Now let's go ahead and insert it into the paper towel holder and see what it looks like. It actually fits perfectly in the center. This lamp is starting to take shape, but now we really need to dress it up. So I found these hanging Christmas ornaments at Hobby Lobby, and as soon as I saw them, I knew I had to have them. I think these crystals are made of acrylic and not real glass, but looking at them, you might not be able to tell. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. The way these crystal pieces are cut and shaped, it mimics the facets of real crystal, and you'll see later how brilliantly they sparkle when the light hits them. All we need to do is slip an S-hook through each one and then hang them onto the top of the paper towel holder. And if you have made it this far in today's video, drop me a comment with the word crystal so I know you visited. So while hanging the crystals, I realized that I only bought two packs of them, so I actually won't have enough for the entire lamp. So I decided to hang these long icicle pieces in between as well. The long icicle pieces are also pretty and pair well with the Hobby Lobby hanging crystals. And I'm also adding some additional acrylic crystal garlands left over from a previous project. So next time I may need to plan a little bit better, but by the time we're done making this lamp, it will look beautiful. And if you happen to have lots of hanging crystals and crystal garlands of different lengths in your stash, you could actually hang longer ones around the inner portion of the paper towel holder so that your lamp has two levels of hanging crystals. I think that would look gorgeous as well. Before we finish off this lamp, I'm going to embellish the top of the solar lamp with the same rhinestone ribbon we used earlier. It's a small detail, but if you have seen any of my other home decor crafts, I always opt for more embellishments because the more bling, the better. And here's the final look for our first chandelier lamp. We have the mirrored base at the bottom and the two chrome paper towels standing on top acting as the body of the lamp. The solar garden stick embellished with the rhinestone ribbon sits in the middle and towards the top we have the little solar panels that will use sunlight to charge up the light. And although the chandelier lamp has a lot of hanging crystals, it's still lightweight and sits sturdily on the base. You could also move it from room to room if you wanted to. And when it gets dark, the light will come on to provide a nice illumination for your room. See how the light bounces off the hanging crystal pieces? And when it gets really dark, the hanging crystals twinkle to create brilliant shadows against the wall. Comment down below with the word crystal and let me know what you think about this first chandelier lamp. And here's what our crystal chandelier lamp looks like when the entire room is dark. The crystals and rhinestones are so beautiful and they shimmer in the shadows. And now onto our second chandelier lamp. I have actually made this one before and I absolutely love it. For light source, we're going to use this little battery operated LED lamp. For embellishments, I have a pile of these acrylic hanging garlands. They are connected with jump rings, so we're going to take the one at the end and simply hot glue it to the inside of the lampshade. These hanging crystal garlands are made of acrylic, so they're very, very lightweight, and the hot glue will bind the jump ring to the shade very easily. And if you're still with me, drop me a comment down below with the word crystal so I know you visited. And while hot gluing the jump rings to the lampshade, make sure you don't burn your fingers in the process. The hot glue can get pretty hot, so use gloves if you need to. The thing about hanging these garlands is that you want the glue to dry quickly, so using any other type of glue won't work that well. And hot glue is also strong enough to give these acrylic crystal garlands a secure hold. And when you're done gluing the hanging crystal garlands to the shade, this is what the lampshade should look like. 
Inside the bulb are the little LED lights that will illuminate when you turn the power switch on. To sit the shade onto the paper towel holder, we'll need to take the metal piece from inside this paper lampshade. I found this at the Hobby Lobby on clearance. I have gone ahead to remove the paper shade and now we can start to construct our lamp. I have taken the dollar store LED light apart so we can slide the light bulb through the circular opening of the metal piece from the paper lampshade. I think it's called the harp but if you know better let me know please in the comment section. And now we will reattach the light bulb to the rest of the lampshade. Here I'm making sure everything is secure and tight. Next, we'll take some silver border stickers and apply them around the top of the lampshade. And just a quick reminder, you can use whatever embellishments you have on hand. If you have other types of gem stickers, flat back gems, or other self-adhesive ribbons, you can use those as well. Or if you are happy with the way the lampshade looks without the additional embellishments, you can also choose to leave it as is. But if you know me, I always say, the more bling, the better. And here's what our lampshade should look like with it all blinged out. And now for the best and most interesting part. We're going to take the stainless steel paper towel holder and place it upright on top of the mirror base we made earlier. Then we're going to simply place the lampshade on top of the paper towel holder. And there you have it. Our second crystal hanging chandelier lamp is complete. The power button is located at the top where we can reach it easily. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which of the two crystal chandelier paper towel holder lamps from today you like best. In fact, if you have made it this far in today's craft tutorial, drop me a comment with the word crystal so I know you visited today. In the meantime, I hope you stick around and check out some of my other DIY home decor pieces.